Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is time for seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. It is chilly outside, but it's nice and warm in here. A nice warm cup of coffee going right here. Hope you have yours in front of you. You know, I looked at the clock a few minutes ago. I was like, oh, it's after seven o'clock. That's what you get when you get up and start working at five o'clock in the morning. Forget what time it is. Hey, uh, listen, this is the show where we help you. We talk about all the things you need to do to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Kind of similar theory to uh, what we do on the radio show. If you didn't catch that this week, that's okay. It's still on Facebook. You can go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Takes you to the right page. You can catch up on the show there. Uh, yeah, let's see. And then yesterday on the coffee shop show, the show that I do with my good friend Eric Mulford, we were talking about your audience, understanding your audience, and that actually has led me to today's topic. What I want to talk about today: Who are you working for? And uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today. I, I've talked a lot about understanding your outcome that you're trying to create. And if you don't understand that, then, you know, how can you, you know what you're doing? I want to put a little different twist on that today. That's today's topic. But before I get there, I want to encourage you to do what Joe has already done. Drop me a comment down there in the comments and say, hi, good morning. Your hair looks funny. What is that on the shelf behind you? Whatever you feel like commenting, just go ahead and drop it in there. It'll be okay with me. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing it live or on the replay, both of them or beneficial. All right. So with that little advertisement out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our topic. Who are you working for? Very often we let other people set our agenda. we we'll let them decide what's important. And when we do that, so I'll back up just a step. I believe that each one of us are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. Work that matters is something that in, energizes you. It activates your um, gifts and talents. It is the reason that you're here. And, and we are, we have the tools we need to do that, but we compromise. And sometimes it's from well-meaning advisors. Well, you sure are. You sure are a great artist. You can paint, you can draw, you can whatever. But I think you're never going to make a living doing that. You need to get a real job. Right? And so that's that's the encouragement that the encouragement that you get to get a real job. So you go out and you do that all the while wishing that you could paint, draw, make amazing PVC joints. I don't know, whatever it is that you are uniquely gifted and talented and placed to do because we get this idea in our head that, you know, and, and well, how many times have you heard this? Oh, you have responsibilities now. Oh man. So now, I mean, that's just an encouragement to, to live, to sacrifice your own, uh, working in your own gifts and talents because of something else. All right, so regardless of how you got there, you're in this position where you are working for someone else. And I'll, I'll give you this last little piece. This comes from a um, an essay that I quote pretty often, <clears throat> written by a palliative care nurse, Bronnie Ware, and she put together this list of the five most common regrets of people who are about to die. The number one regret is I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the life other people expected. Wow. So you let somebody else's expectations drive your decision-making, you are living their life for them vicariously. And for them, there's no risk in that. But for you, there's ultimate risk in that. Find what you are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do, and then do that. Do more of that. That's Bob Newhart. That's kind of opposite of what Bob Newhart would say. Stop that. Get a haircut and get a real job. Said Eric. Got no hair to cut. He said I was balding yesterday. 
That's not true. Look. <laughs> At any rate, find out. Find that thing you are uniquely gifted and talented and play uniquely gifted, talented and place to do, and then do that. Maybe you can't start doing it right away. Maybe it's been this latent thing that you thought was a hobby. Maybe it's something that you just is always on your mind. Find it and start working in it. And the more you work in it, the, the easier it gets. It's, these things are easy for you. These are the things that you lose time doing. But you can sit down and do it and look up and it's four or five hours later. And if you have any doubt, like I gave somebody this advice last night. If you have any doubt what this thing is for you, ask some of your close friends. People that really know you. Just ask them. What will I not shut up talking about? <clears throat> if I could do anything, and, and you think I'm, you know, if I were uniquely gifted and talented and placed it uh, for something, what would you think that is? They know. They can see it very clearly even if we are a little bit blind to it. All right, that's it for today. Thursday is over, and, well, not quite. It is Thursday. That means it's Thankful Thursday. Also, leave a comment down there uh, to let me know what you're thankful for. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Why can't you be like your brother? He got a haircut and a real job. <laughs> oh, you heard that one a lot. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, we, th those are all well-meaning people. You know, they, they think that's the right thing to do. It's just not the fulfilling thing to do. And when you can make the fulfilling thing and the right thing the same thing, boy, you're hitting home runs right there. All right, I'm going to wrap it up today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me. Listen, if you know someone that could benefit from eavesdropping on our conversations, I'm totally okay with that. I love it when people eavesdrop. I like it better when you leave a comment. Let me know that you're here. But uh, do share this video with them. Encourage them to come over and take a look. And if you would be so kind, put a thumbs up, a like, whatever that little icon says down there. Let people know that you enjoy this. And if you happen to be watching it on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. Then you'll get notified every day when the new video shows up. All right, that's it. You guys have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Oh, wait. We need some more of this before we go. I gotta get better at that. It's so much easier when Scotty's doing it on the radio. I don't really have to pay attention to it. It just starts playing in my ear. Alright, you guys have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.